Hello all. Uh, looks like it's happening again to us uh, AMD Catalyst users. Is uh, Arch has released uh, Zorg version 1.6, and uh, it's unconfirmed, but it doesn't look like uh, it will work with the latest Zorg 1.6. So we have to downgrade to uh, 1.5. So I'll post these uh, notes in a basement. Um, Basically, what you do for Catalyst is you edit, if you want to keep your Catalyst installed, um, is edit the Pac-Man config file and add this above all the repos. So I'll just uh, step through that. So sudo and whatever editor you're using, and then etsy pacman.conf. And I'll turn on uh, desktop zoom here. And go down to repositories. Here it is. Here, that same line I was just showing you in, in the note above everything. Okay, even if you have another, uh, if you have your own uh, this Catalyst repo, so we want that Zorg at the very top. And also, you have to as sudo or root, either one. Uh, add these in uh, Pacman dash keyring. And this is the signature for the Catalyst uh, drivers and stuff for 115. Okay, so pacman key r and the number, and then press enter. Same thing with the dash f, and then finally the ls sign dash key. When you do a pacman syy and pacman syu. So, example, I'll quote. Uh, when I got here, I'll close this. So it's uh, sudo. Oh, there. Sudo pacman dash syy, and it should come back with the uh, sig signatures as well. If you don't put these key rings in, uh, it will fail. And then when you do an update, pacman dash syu. I've already done that, but. It will not try to download the 1.6 Zorg drivers. Okay, so that hopefully that makes sense to you for Catalyst. And then uh, moving on to the virtual box uh, issues. Okay, so uh, I'm in the uh, virtual box on uh, uh, my pre-built uh, system, and uh, there's updates available. And I want to mention something quickly. Is at the bottom here? I made a note. If you want to remove the open source drivers that I that are included to build the uh, image, uh, we'll just uh, open a terminal and we'll paste that command in there. I just highlight it and press enter and just answer yes. It doesn't take up a heck of a lot of room. And uh, now we can see there's, before there was 60 or so, now there's uh, 34 updates available. Now this is going to install Zorg 1.6 and we're going to lose our uh, scaling basically in, in VirtualBox. So I'm just going to do it this way. Apply and some things need to be compiled. Okay so I'll be back after this is finished. So I'm back after uh, rebooting the system and uh, uh, apparently everything worked this time, but um, I'm sure that it, people will have problems. So let's open uh, the file manager and uh, we'll go to the old directory, uh, etsy uh, x11 uh, zorg conf.d. Okay, you can see the directories here. I mean the files here, okay. Uh, it's v mouse and stuff, and uh, we'll open this as root. Close this. Yeah, we still have scaling and stuff. Interesting. And then uh, open a new terminal. Throw them out here and go to the new one. Uh, USR share x11 xorg d. As you can see here these uh, files 
here um, now belong in here. So if you're not getting the scaling or full screen or anything, that's why. So we'll just take all these and then hold down the shift key and that'll move them over. And let's go up one directory. It should be okay so far. If not, then you have to play around a little more in this old, now old uh, X11 directory. Okay. Once that's done, um, open a terminal and let's just do an SU on that. And where are the notes I had? There you are. Uh, just do a depth mod, mod, mod uh, D E P M O D. And then we'll um, mod probe the virtual box stuff. Oops. Paste that in. It should come, like, if there's nothing that comes, if nothing comes back, then it means it's loaded. And then, uh, just to be sure, enable that. And then type in reboot. And uh, we'll see what how we're doing with that. Okay, it looks like it worked. Yep. We turn on the uh, comp is. You still have the mouse and everything, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, it's step forward uh, with uh, Zorg uh, 1.6. I noticed that they have some uh, Wayland drivers, so hopefully we can see that fairly soon as well. I'm interested in uh, how they run. Okay, so uh, hopefully that helps anybody out either or and <laughs> uh, with Catalyst drivers and uh, VirtualBox um, services and uh, the new uh, XOR Zorg server. All right, so that's it for this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.